Hi, it's Lenik here from Lens Crafty Life, and this is my entry for Jeanette's uh, One Precious Thing Challenge. Jeanette is from uh, Scrapping Happy XO. I'll put a link to her challenge below this video, and she's asking for one precious thing. Now, this is precious to me because it's my very first, uh, or a part of my very first wedding applique. Uh, about half a year ago, I bought this very pretty short jacket, uh, a wedding jacket for, you know, the, the bride to, uh, to wear over her wedding gown if she's a bit chilly. And I only just started cutting it up. This is only my second piece that I cut off. The other piece I sent to uh, D from Elegant Embellishments uh, because she has a challenge on build your own stash at the moment. Put a link down below to that as well. And that was my first piece. This is my second piece and it's very precious to me because this is the only wedding applique that I have at the moment. I'm doing my own challenge at the moment and hopefully I'll receive some more um, from uh, very sweet people who, who have said to partake in my own challenge. But this is the only one, so I think it's very pretty. It's got all this bling, it's like a leaf pattern and lots of bling on there which is very very nice now Jeanette only asked for one thing to be sent in and of course I'll send a few more bits and pieces but she was asking also for a vintage piece in muted colors now Jeanette if this is too bright because of all the bling and um, then I do have something else of which I pretty much am sure that you will like and it's this little butterfly and I'm quite sure that you like this one because your entry to Maggie White's fabric card was in the same video as my entry. My entry was card number 73 and I think yours was just before me, either 71, 70, 71 or 72. And you, um, you obviously watched the video and you commented on the pretty butterfly that she got. Now I watched the whole video again to see if there were in that particular video others who sent in butterflies and I don't think they were. So I'm pretty sure this is the butterfly that you said you really liked, uh, which I had sent to Maggie and I happen to have some more. So Jeanette, if this is what you like better because uh, Jeanette is going to make from all the entries that just one special thing entries that she gets she is wanting to combine them all in a book or a booklet uh, probably a fabric book so if this is better suitable for your the the book that you want to make then please use this as my or your <laughs> one precious thing Okay, and I also made a card for you Jeanette and uh, because I recently got a big shot and this is the little card. I got these images from a charity shop. It's a, a Beatrix Potter image. This is uh, Hunka Munka, if I'm correct, or Little Miss Tittlemouse, but I think it's Hunka Munka. <laughs> and uh, so I had this card already in my uh, cardstock. Then I cut out the paper and I used this etching. It's a uh, Tim Holtz. Um, um, Ah, Distress Stain that comes in in a little bottle. So not the Distress Ink, but the Distress Stain. And I apply that to the corners. I think this one is uh, Antique Linen. And I use the same stain on this. I don't have a, a square frame that suited this size of image yet uh, with for my big shot. So this is just an edging, a kind of a lazy edging, and I cut out four pieces and then I stain them with the same distress stain. So there you go. I think it's really, really cute. And from the same cardstock, I made these. Have a wonderful day. So I'll put my details that you asked for in this card and send the package off to you today. Okay, hope you like it. And thank you so much for doing this challenge. And for everybody else, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.